don't have Corona. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something different, uh, just like probably the rest of the world that are probably watching this now. We're in self-quarantine from the coronavirus because it's a pandemic right now. So, I don't know what else to do. I'm really bored. It's been a week and it's super boring. I thought it would be great to make a different video. Maybe something towards my photography career. So today we're doing something different. We're going to be doing product photography. So technically what product photography is, is you get an object and then uh, put it onto a texture or uh, anything that matches a, su a good surface with your item or product with a background, probably uh, what I have here, something white, or it can even be like a picture or a painting in the background. It would be blurred, so it would be hard to see it anyways. And then something like what I have here, like items around it that probably match it, and it would be nice uh, all together as a one whole picture. Be either taken with a mirrorless or a DSLR camera, it doesn't really matter. And a good light like, source, like yellow tungsten light. Actually, probably tungsten is probably white, but either a white or an aperture light, either one, and a nice backdrop or background. To start off, today we're going to be using different products like a multi tool tip kit, a pair of pliers, a stamp, and a pair of cards. Other objects like this box right here out of wood you can use the background texture pencils an eraser elastic band calculator those kind of things everyday uses are also good depending on what you're doing another thing I like to use is a magnifying glass uh, what I usually do is bring it up close and then take a macro picture if you don't have a macro lens on your camera you can also use something like that even for your phone it works the same now for some backdrops I got even nice bill like right beside a product, a product like that or even on the full on the floor or on ground uh, beside an object is also another great place as background a painting as this this is a painting but on a piece of paper printed so anything in the background like this uh, can be nice as a blur uh, textures such as that brown um, wood texture on the bottom would be nice for, to put things on top or our old newspaper with I found this one it looked nice because it had maps and some tape and stuff on it or like old newspaper that is black and white also looks nice and then lastly we got stuff a lot extra things to add around the product or an item and I got this circuit board here for my old mouse and we got some old batteries battery stuff and some paper clips it's so got a dollar Canadian dollar with a string around it and things like that just to match around the scene so whatever you're using you look for the best thing and then those would be around so we're gonna get to it so right now I want to start with one of the products or item I'm gonna be using is this deck of cards right here so we also have these pliers and I think these pliers would look nice around this and I think what I'm going to be using for this is almost like uh, when you're back home and you're playing maybe you have it on like a uh, newspaper of some sort so I'm going to use the side where it says Saturday star and I'm just going to have it holding like that and always to add like other newspapers around it almost to add like an edge or something looks like it's more than one so I'm going to have a pack of cards right here and if you haven't noticed, I also changed my sweatshirt, if you think that's weird. Yeah. So maybe like, what would be around here? I would have maybe a pencil or two. And maybe these set of pliers right around here. Maybe an eraser. This would maybe also look nice right around here. Maybe to keep the reds, the red, keep the reds going. Um, I also forgot about cup, my cup, inside my cup I have uh, multi other things like this, maybe something like this, maybe to put the money inside metal like that, keep underneath, maybe to keep some wood, keep a piece of wood like that, I want to keep this open, 
you would keep one underneath that one on top I also have pieces of metal which I'm going to be using I have these pieces of metal and I think I'm just going to put some aside here and I'll put one over here and just that itself creates a good uh, thing to sh a good background another thing I wanted to add just looking at it was this upper band I just turned into like a just tied it up I'm just going to leave it maybe around here to see if it works or not and if it doesn't work you can always take it out it'd be something like right there just to add more you can always add more and less depending on how crowded or not you want I thought about while well, adding um, things around this would maybe look like a better scenery I got the this pack of jerky I haven't eaten for probably like two months and then I got some red party cups maybe to show a nice uh, view and it's picture is probably just going to be probably like this and we're probably just going to do some side ups and some close ups when I say side up that's not a word uh, probably just some side images and then close ups so this is what we have here we got the light here um, I like this light personally just because it's a white light it's a white yellow light it's not so uh, attacked like this white aperture light I have on here and so it just sets the scenery probably just moving it around and playing with the light I probably look the best and uh, we're gonna get right to this. Uh, some things I like to use for this is different kinds of lens. So macro lens of what I have on here, an 18 to 55 millimeter. Those are always great because you can get great macro shots. And if you want more blurry black background and you want a higher at lower aperture, always got a 50 mil or classic 50 mil right here. And those things are great. Not really great for close up, but better for blur shots. A little more back you can get pretty you can't get as close as a macro lens with 50 mil but you can get pretty close you can always use a telephoto lens but uh, I personally don't use telephoto lens for this but depending on how you're using your lens and your background you can use what lens fit you just personally I would use either a 50 mil and most likely a macro lens right now we got our camera here we got our, like I was saying, uh, macro lens. So I'm gonna try it with the macro lens first. Then if I have to, I can always move it to the 50 mil. And we'll just get start to it. Start to it. Oh my God, I'm making so many errors today. So just looking on uh, itself today. So since we have a lot of light, I'm gonna go down to 100 ISO. I do not need fast shutter because uh, obviously nothing's moving here. <coughs> And so I'm just taking just awful photos of either the cars themselves or the objects around them, the cards in the background. It's finishing. I'm not sure if I'm in the frame or not, but I'm pretty tall. So uh, we just did that. Uh, the photos look really good, I can already tell. Um, so what I'm going to start to do is I'm going to try to use something else. Maybe we'll stick with the newspaper still and we'll try a different background. We'll try that uh, painting as the background i'll cut it out so there's no white or we'll leave the white doesn't matter and then we'll try maybe a brown texture and uh as the object maybe we'll use this this is pliers even though i did i did say i did use um this for as another piece depending on the size of the item you can always use it with something else that matches a lot of red here red on the newspaper and so i'm gonna have this in front you will put this like this so it's not just dangling off. Let me put this here. I want to empty out this and I want to see what do I have that I can use. This. Put it right here. I'm not sure if that's too. Maybe we'll leave that there. Paper clip. Always nice to have metal around, nice and shiny. And just, I feel like this would work great with it. looking for stuff that would go good together
now that we have this here, I think. And then, as the camera's point of view, we would be looking in like that. Probably taking a photo somewhat something like that, or just be zoomed in like that, and then you'd have the mountains in the background. Something like that. You guys get what I'm saying, right? So we'll start off with the 50 mil, and then I'll go back to the 18 to 55 to get some macro shots. I wanted to take my outro in front of my, I guess, creation. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Always remember to give a like and subscribe. Uh, can we get us 2K? I think I said that last. Isn't that a, I'm pretty sure that's a video game, 2K. Almost like 4K. Anyways, uh, hope you guys like this video. If you guys want me to do more, if we can get this to 25 likes, I will do a part two to this. Uh, we'll try to make a series. Uh, I hope the, I hope you guys like those photos. I put them at the end, right before the outro. And thanks for watching. Peace.